Hey everybody, thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about, real quickly, how to tie a drop shot. Bass fishing is all about the details, both for in the end result as far as how many fish you're going to catch at the end of the day, how problem free it's going to be, and how efficiently you can do that. So I'm going to take something pretty simple like a drop shot rig and how to tie one and just go over all the steps from A to Z, hopefully it helps. From time to time, I see guys still tying drop shots in a way that, in my opinion, is probably not the best. So with that, we'll go right into it. The thing that I first wanna to touch on, I like to throw braided line with a fluorocarbon leader. That's the first thing I'm gonna do, say 10, 12, or 15 pound test braided line, and then I want a fluorocarbon leader anywhere from seven to about 10 pound test. For the fluorocarbon leader, I like Gamma Touch fluorocarbon. It's a finesse type, fluorocarbon that I think handles really well and if you want them to just spool straight fluorocarbon and there's a time for that this is the fluorocarbon I would recommend for that it really handles well on spinning reels overall we're talking about light line finesse application so 7 to 10 pound test fluorocarbon generally what you're gonna use some guys will go lighter four five six pound test but I typically stay within that 7 to 10 pound test with that being said I'm gonna use this 60 pound test yellow braided line so that it'll show up well on camera. Hopefully that this helps. First thing, taking the tag end, you're just gonna tie the hook on. And what I'm using here is an owner cover shot drop shot hook. Really exceptional hook for your light line drop shot finesse applications. Go ahead and run the line through the eye of the hook, through the top of the hook, and the top or the business end, the point side, and then with that, I like to tie a lot of guys, tie a lot of different knots, and if you've got one that you like, stick with it. But what I like is a Eugene slip knot, so I'm just gonna tie that, take, make a loop on this end, wrap that around the main line one, two, three times, take the tag end, and slide that through. This really isn't about knots, this is actually about tying the drop shot properly. And then I'll semi-cinch it, wet it, always important, and then cinch it down on the eye of the hook. Then you have the main line and the tag end. And as a whole, coming from Southern California, where basically the drop shot rig came from Japan over to California and then spread from the west eastward, we like a short drop shot for a lot, a short drop shot leader for a lot of applications. This is probably 10, maybe 12 inches at the most. Then you're gonna take the tag in and put it right back through the top, just like this. This is one of those details I think is really important. When the drop shot is rigged properly, you have that hook that always wants to stay in the upward position, like that. And actually the way you position that knot on the top of the eye will also help that. That's something you can check regularly as you're fishing through the day. Make sure that it's on the top of the eye towards the front and then that way when you have the hook on there and the weight and the bait, that hook is in the upward position. Now for the weight, I'm using a Striking Tour Grade Tungsten weight, drop shot weight. Works really well. I feel like it adds a bit of sensitivity that you could get to telegraph the bottom composition back to your rod. And what I'll do is I'll tie just a little overhand knot. You just go ahead and thread that drop shot weight on there like you would otherwise. So just past that little overhand knot, pull up on it like it normally would right into the line clip. Actually adds a little bit of extra security so that when you're dragging it through some tough stuff, some rocks and stuff, that the weight just doesn't slide off. Again, this is really the important part of it, in my opinion, both in the way that you set up the hook and the weight application. You want that hook pointed in the upward position, and when you put the line through the eye on the top after you tie the knot, it gets you that same upward position every time. I'll go ahead and apply a worm there just so you can kind of see and get an idea visually. I just go in a short distance into the eye or into the head of the worm pop it through because that hook keeper or that worm keeper is not very far from the front. If you go too far, it'll end up just putting a, a bend in the worm 
Now this is another part that's important in rigging the drop shot because the straighter you have it, the less likely it is to spin. And that line twist that happens with the spinning definitely makes it more difficult as far as the efficiency and the twisting and the tangles and different things like that. The arm wants to stay in the up position and the hook wants to stay in that upright position. That's just a real important part of it. We start with a 10 inch or 12 inch leader and then sometimes I lengthen it in clear water and in shallow dirtier water I'm going to shorten it. So that's just a general rule. I mean I've caught them with as much as a two or three foot leader in clear water in deeper clear water and then when I get shallower I've even pitched it where I've put pitched a drop shot around cover and I just put that weight right there. But again by rigging it properly once you get it even when you pull it tight you can see that that hook wants to stay in the upward position and when you set the hook that it also the hook kind of pivots and it enables it to hook into the fish's mouth So now you've got the proper rigging of a drop shot hopefully that helps i sure appreciate you guys tuning into my youtube channel please like and subscribe if this is something that you like or if you have any comments on what else you'd like to see me address Please feel free to do that also. Thanks for watching.